I know you're so close with Khalil and you've been in contact with him like a lot of guys in this building uh, during this whole thing. In your mind, was he always coming back and it was just a surprise to hear that he wasn't? Uh, I just know that uh, in this profession, there's a business portion and, uh, and then you got the actual football portion. So I try not to kind of get myself in too much of everybody else's business, you know. But while we in the locker room and we're around each other, it's all love. So I don't kind of invade his privacy when it comes to like his business. I kind of focus on my own. Were you surprised when you actually heard the news that he even traded? Yeah, it was it was a surprise, but man, he got what he deserved, and uh, I just wish the best for him. That's my guy. When you make the team, what's the first call you made? Who you call first for your final? My mom's, uh, just my family, all my family. Uh, just gave them a call and just gave them the good news. Just to hear them happy was enough to make me happy. What's that feeling like on Saturday when you're just like just staring at 1 p.m. and just waiting for it to come? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just try to focus, uh, focus as much as possible, uh, take in as much as I can take in going into the game. That way, the game is easy and it's no thinking. You know. Yeah. You, know, you guys were working all throughout offseason training camp with Adam. It, it always did seem like this feeling that you know eventually you would be able to plug Khalil in and, and go. Now that you know that he's not going to be here, uh, what's the sense on the defensive line just in terms of what you guys have to do to kind of pick up what's not going to be there and, and generate sort of a pass rush, especially without him? Uh. Like, we don't focus on what's not going to be there. Uh, we just go out every day and just uh, grind, you know. Whoever's out there, it don't matter. Uh, it don't matter who's out there. You know, there's no drop-off, whether you uh, consider a, a third-team guy, second-team guy. There's no drop-off. The standard is the standard, so we hold ourselves to our own standard. So. You guys are just is that, is that something you guys can embrace as a as a D line? Just you know, yes, people, everyone knows. Like, you know, Lil Mac, he's not coming back. Mm -hmm. Lil's gone. He's on their team now. But showing that a pass rush can still be there, the culture that he helped build is still there, and that you guys have been working, not just watching while he's been here. And, yeah, we've been working uh, since day one, but getting it in. Uh, I feel like the coaches got enough confidence in us, and uh, that's an, that's enough to give me confidence alone. Uh, just that, you know, besides what you're already working for, whatever your purpose is or whatever you do, what you do, whether it's whether you're a reporter or uh, whatever it is, uh, I just try not to let anything on the outside uh, take away from that, you know. Do you think it's been helpful that you've had a full off-season program and training camp to work with this group and establish roles and chemistry with the guys next to you, things like that? Yeah, I feel like uh, our chemistry is at an all-time high right now. And uh, I just feel like we can make a lot of big plays uh, in the future. So I just try to lock in and just stay focused and uh, focus on my part to this defense and just bring as much as I can as a person, one person on this team, just bring as much juice, fire as I can to this team. You know, that's kind of my thing. That's what I like to do. So it's kind of natural to me. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you.